Today, I received an amazing opportunity to work with a celebrity, and I'm sure you actually know who this guy is. Is that what are you, what are you doing? I'm sorry, we, we legally can't say the name of, of who we're working with. So today I got an offer to make a commercial for a celebrity named The only problem is they need to see a cut of it by tomorrow. And they're just testing me. They're in a time crunch and they need to find out quickly if I'm the guy for the job. Well, let me tell you, I am. Well, at least I, at least I hope I am. Okay, so before jumping into the editing of this, let's first go over the task at hand and the problems that I face. I need to create an animation in less than 24 hours for a famous celebrity. Now the problem is this animation. I have no idea what to make of it. I've only been told liquid abstract, which is a little vague. And as I'm voicing all these concerns right now, I'm realizing I'm probably just procrastinating right now and not really wanting to jump into the project, but just keep talking about what is the idea. Anytime I'm looking for inspiration, whether I need it fast or I'm just scrolling along, although right now I definitely need it fast, I go to my three strategies. Number one, listening to music and doodling. I draw a sad guy because he's uh, there's a cloud, it's raining on him, and the mushrooms represent he's sitting in poop. Number two, just scroll through my Pinterest feed and save anything that stands out. I have a feeling this is probably not what they're looking for. Number three, go to Mid Journey and just start creating some images for inspiration. Huh. Now with all that done, I now run into a problem that's very common when you're trying to find inspiration quickly. And that is that all the inspiration that you gathered is pretty disconjointed. I mean, honestly, how can this pair with this? I don't know. I just like both images and I put them on the mood board. But when I get overwhelmed with these things and my mind just doesn't know what to do, I find it helpful just to take a step away from the screen for a moment and head back. So now coming back to this project with a rejuvenated mind, I now know how to solve the problem. I need to look from within because the whole time I'm trying to figure out what they want from this when the reality is they don't even know what they want from this. They want to know what I want from this, right? So what do I want? Well, generally speaking, I love 80s nostalgia. I love video games and I love the color blue. So with all that in mind, I was able to redo my collection of reference images, getting a better array of things that I think work together. And now found myself ready to begin the editing process with a big heap of energetic inspiration boiling up within my heart. And it's great timing as well because it is midnight and the clock is ticking. Now the first thing I'm gonna do to create this abstract liquid is creating circles flying all over the screen, which I realize doesn't really look like anything right now, but check out this fun trick. I'll add an adjustment layer over top of everything and then apply two effects to it, the fast box blur and the simple choker. With the fast box blur, I'll blur out the image and with the choker, I will take that blur away, leaving me now with liquid. Now to make what we have here more dense, I'll just duplicate the layer multiple times, adjust each one's position and rotation, and then change the color of each one. A little tip as well, if you ever wanna grab colors with your eyedropper tool that aren't actually on the After Effects platform. Uh, for example, I have this color swatch here on my other monitor. Um, what you can do is you can select the tool, click and hold, and then drag it off After Effects, and then you can grab any color that you'd like. So when looking at some of my reference images, I really like the glowing outline effect we see on this Thriller poster, so I think I wanna implement that. So to do that, I can start by duplicating this comp. I can then apply the fine edges on the top one, invert it, and then set the layer's blending mode to add. And then to amp it up, I'll slip in some glow effects. Because you can never go wrong with too much glow. Now one thing I'd like to add here as well, to bring more of that 80s nostalgia that I like is some noise. So what I'll do is add another adjustment layer on top and apply the noise effect. And you can play around with the blending modes here to get different results of how the noise is actually being seen, but I really like the look of hard light. Now, another thing that I'm seeing in my reference images that I really like and I need to bring it over to my project is these harsh and dark shadows. Now, this is something that I think will make it look more professional or dynamic, at least for my taste. And so let me jump back into my pre-comp and on each layer, I'll add an inner shadow effect to them. And just with that quick update, the animation has got a lot more edge to it. In fact, I would argue that it needs even more edginess. So, let's do that. So let me once again go back into the pre-comp, put a black solid on the top, and then mask it out like this to even give a shadow effect on the edge of the screen. You see, and now this animation is starting to say, hey, I'm a serious guy. But with any serious character, they always need a grand entrance. So let's give our animation one. For that, I'm going to use the effect optics compensation. With this, I can animate the liquid in a way that really makes it feel like it's rushing in from all over the screen from the start. And with that done, the animation is complete. So now I give you a liquid abstract. So it is 4 a.m. right now. I have another project to work on tomorrow, so I've gone ahead and just accepted this final result for the animation. I've sent it to the client, and now... Six hours later. So the next day I woke up, took a shower, read my Bible, ate breakfast, and that's when a message came in. 
Now, of course, this was the first challenge of many to complete when working with this guy. But when given a chance to create an ad for someone like getting a thumbs up means everything. And now it's time to figure out the rest. <laughs>